Barack, we're here to send a clear message to you. We're not gonna we're not gonna give up until Bashar al-Assad is gone. You need to stand up for human rights. These are the fundamental principles that our country's always stood for. And how much more blood do we have to be shed see shed until you take some action? First of all, I'm a proud American Syrian. My message is peace for humanity. I couldn't imagine the United States Marines bombing Washington DC for the last year. Can you imagine an army bombing a city after city after city after city after city, my whole homeland for the last 12 months? Would that last in the United States for 11 seconds? Absolutely not. So my, my message is for humanity to stop the, the crimes against humanity that are anti-humanity, anti-American, anti-Syrian, anti-mankind. That's my message. It shouldn't take us 12 months to stop killing Hamza al-Khatib and killing Kashush and murdering the best brains of Syrians. Mr. Obama, the inventor of the iPhone, is from Syria, from Homs. This regime has killed thousands of people. As an American Syrian, as a proud American Syrian, you need to make a decision to stop the crimes against humanity, against my people, your people, because people are people, and this has to stop. Thank you. Malik, I want to follow up, okay? Yeah. Uh, I, I want you to tell us a little bit about your personal experience, okay? He's looking for his your your parents were in Syria when this revolution began, and, and you were very outspoken, You're very courageously here. so. Could you, could you comment a little bit? I want President Obama and members of Congress to know about this personal story. I want it to go to their conscience, to their heart, and to understand how it's affecting people's lives. Tell us about your story and your parents. You know, as a proud American, Syrian, in this beautiful country, I'm enjoying my freedom, my democracy, my rights. I was honored Hala, to premiere one of my compositions, Hala. I'm my homeland, Watani Anna, here. A few Hala, steps to meet with you. from the beautiful White House, the Oval Office. Mm -hmm. And four days after performing that humanitarian song, the American anthem, the Syrian anthem, the Assad thugs, the criminals, attacked my mom and my dad. After the release of my latest work, Kashush Symphony, for peace, they bombed my home. Can you imagine? This regime can't stand music, can't stand peace, can't stand love, can't stand anything related to freedom. It is anti-American. And to Mr. Obama, Mr. President, the strategic goals of the United States today are with the strategies of the Syrian people, not the Syrian government. It's with the Egyptian people, not with the Egyptian government. It's with the Saudi people, not with the Saudi government. My message to you as a proud American is to stand with the people of conscious and the people of Syria and the people of the United States to stop the mess. Stop the trash bags. Can you please come fill them up? Mela, can, can you tell us, can you tell us w what emotions are triggered when you hear these statistics of over 12,000 people who've been killed since this uprising began a year ago, how does that make you feel? 12,000 is going to be the tip of the iceberg, the like they say. Please go to this regime, Otherwise, go to, the hotel. to my limited knowledge, we have over 200, 25,000 missing people. Those people have families, kids, those are my people. Those are your people. It is unacceptable. Every day we are witnessing crimes against humanity. Every day we are witnessing murdering children, raping women, bombing city after city, bombing churches, bombing temples, bombing mosques. When is it going to stop? The United States, as a superpower, has the, resp the responsibility. The United States, as a superpower, has the responsibility to stop the massacre today. As an American citizen, as a proud American Syrian, I urge you, Mr. Obama, to stand with the people of Syria and the people of conscience and with the American people to stop the massacre of those innocent kids. Malik, I'm going to end on this. I, wa I want you to tell us, okay, Senators McCain, Senator Lindsey Graham, Senator Lieberman, they've, called, they've made some calls on the Senate floor to come and aid the Syrian people. Can you please send a message directly to those senators? 
My message through music as a musician is very clear. I am pro-peace. I am pro-humanity, pro-love. Let me remind you, the first ever documented peace treaty in humankind history was drafted where? In Homs. In Homs, Syria. When Ramses came to Syria to attack us and to have war, we said, no, thank you. We want peace. We don't want a war. We are the people of peace and harmony. We embraced all nationalities when they were being massacred and murdered in Turkey, in Armenia, in Iraq, in Lebanon. The Syrian people today are celebrating their diversity. Look at this. We have close to 2,000 people probably today from every ethnic group. We are Syrians. We are proud American Syrians. We are Christians, we are Jews, Muslim, atheists, gays, lesbians, you name it. We are here human beings. We just want one thing, freedom. Malik, President Obama, senators, members of Congress, the message is loud and clear from one of our world's uh, most famous artists here. The message is loud and clear. We must stand up for freedom of justice. President Obama, as a constitutional law professor, you must stand up for freedom of speech and freedom of expression. We must help the Syrian people. Free Syria!